Palm Springs Ground, 0761 Charlie, taxi with Victor from Signature. This is 761 Charlie, runway 31 left, taxi via Whiskey 2, Whiskey Alpha, verify you have information, Victor. We have information, Victor, we're heading to 31 left via Whiskey 2, Whiskey Alpha, 61 Charlie.
Albuquerque, sir, it's 761 Charlie. We'd like to cancel. We're going to head into Echo 63. North 761 Charlie, uh, Roger, cancellation of IFR received. Collect VFR, frequency change approved. VFR, frequency change approved. Thank you, 61 Charlie. All right, we've got uh, about 10 minutes. Kilo Bend traffic, Cirrus 761 Charlie, turning left downwind for runway four. Kilo Bend. Kilo Bend traffic, Cirrus 761 Charlie, turning left base for four. Kilo Bend. Gila Bend, Sierra 61 Charlie, short final 4-4, four, four, Gila Bend. Gila traffic, jump 4. Gila traffic, Dina, I should be set up the air blow during my touch. All right. Okay. You want me to just run out and here, come back or? And, uh, I might as diaper. well fuel up. Hey, okay. I can change this diaper. I need to pee too. Okay. Try to get gas and no joy. We couldn't figure it out. The Cessna up ahead of us told me he had been trying, but then two Cessna 150s filled up right before us. So there is some secret way to get gas here that is not clear to us. Cuban traffic, Cessna 428 Delta Whiskey is taking 04. Uh, we remain in the pattern left traffic, uh, 04 Cuban. Kilobin traffic, Sirius 761 Charlie, taking off runway for departing the pattern to the east. Kilo traffic, Oxford 1058 is uh, five miles uh, southeast of the field, and now uh, sounds like you're going to be using runway four, so we're going to left downwind for runway four. Kilobin traffic, Sirius 861 Charlie, taking off left base, 04, Kilobin, touch go. If you're talking, I can't hear you. Okay.
Yeah, for now I'll take those and I'll just plug them into the other one. Okay. Albuquerque Center, Sirius 761 Charlie. Sirius uh, 761 Charlie, Albuquerque Center, go ahead. We'd like to pick up flight following to El Paso. We're 20 miles to the east of Gila Bend, and we are at 9,000, climbing 9,500. Sirius 761 Charlie, score 2656. 2656, Charlie. November uh, 761 Charlie, are you familiar with uh, Eloy Airport and the jump activity that's there? Which airport is that again? 761 Charlie, it's Echo 60 at your 12 o'clock in about uh, 30 miles. There's parachute operations 15,000 and below 6. I do see it here on my chart. Should I avoid any part of this 61 Charlie? Six one Charlie, you can remain about at least three miles clear of that. If you get a little closer and need vectors, I can uh, we can do that as well. I'm seeing five six seven overlapping. Is it just the one around Echo sixty? November six one Charlie, from it's just the one around Echo sixty. All right, we can avoid it. Thanks for the heads up, six one Charlie. There's the border. We've, uh, we made a stop, the one where we tried to get fuel and it didn't work. And uh, that took us off of the Victor Airway we were on. So now we are uh, we are flying over some mountains. We sort of created our own path, paying attention to the VFR sectionals and making sure we're, we've got a couple thousand foot clearance over any mountains. And so you can see we're flying over the some pretty high peaks, but there are about 1,900 feet below us. Today was supposed to be a, uh, an uneventful flight, and it's ended up being not nearly as crazy as the yeah, way out here, contact Albuquerque, center 125.4. 125.4, United 1298. Still a bit of a pain um, with radio issues, or rather intercom issues here in the cabin. And uh, then couldn't get gas at the last stop. As hard as we tried, we sat talked to another pilot who also couldn't get gas and then realized we watched two other people get gas as we arrived and had no idea we needed to ask them how to get gas, but clearly they knew the secret. And now we're flying over some uh, beautiful uh, snow-capped mountains here. Let's see if I can show them to you. Yeah, these are, it's a pretty amazing view. I love flying over mountains where you're high enough that you're safe, but low enough that you can see everything. They're pretty amazing. That does look like a blimp. November 2223, two, Quebec, yes, contact Paso Approach, 124.25. Actually, I think it does. 24.25, 225, That looks like Founders about 900 feet above us. Flight 3609, level 310. Flight 3609, Albuquerque, Center Roger. You can expect some light top out ahead. It shouldn't be anything worse than light top. It's been reported at all last week. All right, six, two, two, three, Mike is what I'm seeing. So there's two, a, two, three, Mike, up. VFR traffic, 12 o'clock in one zero miles, eastbound Cirrus at 9,400. Roger, searching, two, two, three, Mike. November 761, Charlie, VFR traffic, 11 to 12 we'll o'clock in out. 10 miles, westbound, to Baron, 8,500.
In. Actually, not in sight. We've got a blimp in sight. Uh, looking, 6 1 Charlie. It is cold down in El Paso. Looks like it's 43 degrees on the ground. Okay, well, yeah, we both have jackets in that leather bag. Cool. You'll be okay with grabbing something to eat. No, yeah, that's fine. And also, if, if you wanted to run and catch something so we don't have to unload everything, we could also just like run around the parking lot or whatever. Okay, I'm down for whatever. Do you want something? Oh, um, yeah, I could have a snack. You know, we also have mac and cheese and tuna salad, like tuna. Oh, if, if you want that. Okay. Number 61 Charlie, contact Tower 118.3. Over to Tower 118.3, 61 Charlie. El Paso, Tower Sierra 761 Charlie. Inbound for visual, gonna enter downwind 26 left. Sierra 761 Charlie, Pass Tower, good afternoon, enter left downwind 26 left. Enter left downwind 26 left, 61 Charlie. Feels pretty close to these hills. Yep. And there's our airport. There's 6 1 Charlie traffic, 1 to 2 o'clock now, in 4 miles. Four mile final for two six left, descending out of 5,500. Inside, 6 1 Charlie. 6 1 Charlie, Roger, and caution for the wake. Six one Charlie. I forgot to tell you we're heading to Millionaire. Is uh, do you want us to stay on uniform or Victor? Yes, it's been Charlie. No, that changes everything. Continue for Victor. Cross two six left. Victor. Contact ground on the south side. Victor. Cross two six left at Victor. And thank you, six one Charlie. Look at that one, buddy. Big jet. And a smaller plane. And another smaller plane. That's so cool. Yeah, look. That's the plane we need, buddy. This is the millionaire in El Paso million air and uh, this is my favorite one anywhere I've been here like five times now it's spectacular I just uh, just grabbed a crew car and it's a uh, it's a Mercedes a very nice one so awesome place to stop in El Paso this is a ridiculous crew car I'm used to getting I'm used to getting really cheap uh, Crown Vicks donated by the city or something that are 30 years old. So this is this is pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna eat in a conference room. Popeyes, a little mismatch there. In in the nicest FBO I've ever been in. This place is spectacular.
Clear prop. Okay, I guess I'm using the passenger side all the way home. Is that a problem? No, it's just a, it's just a thing. Okay. November 3761, Charlie, runway 26 left, taxi via Zulu 1 in Lima. 26 left, Zulu 1, Lima, 61, Charlie. Sequin Charlie is holding short, 26 left, ready for takeoff. Cheers, 3761, Charlie, I'll pass to the tower, sir, Mike. Caddy 461, El Paso ground, runway 26 left, taxi via Uniform Lima. Cirrus 61, Charlie, turn left on course, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left on course, 26 left, clear for takeoff, 61, Charlie. Everything's green. You can still hear me, right? I'm having trouble hearing myself a little. I, I can hear you. Okay, good. Airspeed's alive. Tower 61 Charlie, did you give me a left or a right turn to on course? Number 61 Charlie, left turn on course. Envoy 4232, pass the charger. Oh, that's the thing, to the left. Oh, the guppy? Yeah, I guess somebody on ground was asking about that. Envoy 4232, standby. Roger. Says we're near a plane up here, but I don't see it. By those big mountains out ahead. I think those are taller than any we've passed yet. The march on way 4232, 5.1, 17,000. On way 4232, Paso, depart, short of contact, maintain 1717,000. Maintain 1717,000, on way 4232. So, you, hear, you see me uh, reaching up here a lot. I don't know how easy this is to see. But one of the things I'm doing a lot of the time is a checklist. Number 761 Charlie, contact Albuquerque Center on a 135.87, 3587. 3587, 61 Charlie. Citation on triple Albuquerque Center, here, 761 Charlie, level 9500. November 3761 Charlie, Albuquerque Center, the El Paso, Center 3036. 3036 Center, I, I don't know if it matters, but I'm November 761 Charlie. Uh, November 761 Charlie, I will make, I will show that. Appreciate it, 61 Charlie. So, what you see me doing a lot of the time here when I'm reaching up and messing with things is actually going through checklists. So, this is my cruise checklist. So, my fuel pump is off, I just check that. Cruise power is set. Um, mixture, I've already leaned it out. So, often these are just like things I've already done, but a good reminder check engine parameters. 
mostly over here, uh, making sure that my oil pressure is good, temperature is in the green, uh, fuel flow matches what I the computer is telling me is happening here. RPM is high but not over the red. Everything looks good. Fuel flow and balance. Fuel flow looks good and it's balanced. And that's done. So we'll go to the next checklist, which is descent. So we got a while. That was an old uh, volcano out there. Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of unlikely, but who knows? A crater or something. That's interesting. So we are finally getting some tailwind, meaningful tailwind. It, uh, it's been really hard to get the whole trip. We had up to a 70 knot headwind uh, on the way out there. And now we're finally, uh, finally benefiting from a solid uh, tailwind. I'm not sure how easy that is to see or read, but our ground speed is 185 knots now, which is a lot faster than we normally fly because we have a uh, uh, almost 40 knot tailwind. And so we're uh, we're booking it finally. Six one Charlie Austin Executive twelve o'clock eight miles. Do you have it in sight? In sight six one Charlie. Number seven six one Charlie radar service terminated. Change to advisory frequency approved or correction contact Austin Executive Tower one two zero point three. Over to Tower six one Charlie. Thank you. Executive Tower Sirius seven six one Charlie just handed off. Uh, I assume visual three one. Sure, 761 Charlie, Executive Tower, what's your position? About six miles to the west of the field. Sure, 61 Charlie, Roger, enter left downwind, runway 31, runway 31 clear to land. Left downwind for 31, 31 clear to land, and I have x ray, sorry for the quick handoff. No worries. Here, 61 Charlie, taxi parking via Alpha. Parking via Alpha. Parking via Alpha, 61 Charlie. Are we home? Finally? We're home. Next time we need to do that in a bigger plane. Maybe an American Airlines plane. Yeah, but it's the, the cost benefit. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we had something faster, flies higher, maybe, but this is not a super fun trip with it. Fireworks! Hey, fireworks. I know we're back. <laughs> yeah, you want to get down and walk? What is it? Okay, hold on, hold on. Can you just look at it? Can you wave to it? Wave? Yeah? Here, I'll put you down. All right, we made it back. We're in Austin, finally, after 17 hours worth of flying, getting to California and back. That was the most challenging flying I've done yet. Um, more fun for me than the two in the back, but... Now we're home. We're back at Austin Executive and the plane's getting unloaded and about to park. All right, that's a wrap. Mama. Yeah, is mom coming in the car? There she is, coming to pick us up. 
Yeah.